Hello guys, so let's talk about summer style laws for gamin body type. If you're new to my channel, I have a huge Kiwi playlist. I'm gonna leave the link down below. Today we're gonna talk about just gamins, but Davy Kiwi doesn't use pure gamins anymore. He uses whether flamboyant gamins or soft gamins. He says that anybody tends whether to sharper version or to softer version. I'm still gonna talk about gamins as a general type and it will be useful to watch both for flamboyant gamins and for soft gamins as well. But both of those types have their own twist and of course I'm gonna do separate videos about them too. So we're not gonna talk about trends today, we're only gonna talk about summer style laws that will be very useful many years from now and they were useful many years before. And that is the beauty of this technology. So you know you're a gamin if you are quite smallish, you look small, you're sharp in bones, many gamins are straightish in figure and quite angular. So normally the biggest problem for gamins in summer is flowy dresses because every time they're trying that elegant, flowy, very romantic dresses on themselves that they feel like this dress is dragging them down or it makes them feel silly or stupid even sometimes I've met some gamins they say every time I'm wearing a dress it's just like a boy is trying her mom's clothes even though it's not a very good comparison of gamins with boys but this is an effect that sometimes something very feminine and very flowy creates on gamins. They're quite bony and sharp in bones, even if they're plus size, it's still the case for them. And first of all, this is because they can hardly pull off long vertical line. Long vertical line means head to toe, same color, very long dress, top to the very bottom or top and pants, same color, again, very long to the bottom, unless they are wearing very high platforms or heels. And even then, sometimes it drags them down. So that is an interesting type in this case. So when we're choosing the dresses for them, probably dresses to stay away from would be something very feminine bouffant with big drapes and very long, something very flowy. They will just be lost in that. It's just not for them. They need something trimmer, something that keeps its shape, something sharper. So of course, if we talk about gamins, we think about 60s and Twiggy and stuff like that. And Twiggy was wearing minis. And sometimes those mini dresses were super short. Many gamins also feel uncomfortable with that. They don't wanna wear such short mini dresses. So it's not the point here. We're not talking about mini. We're just talking about the configuration. Narrow outline and quite stiff in fabric. And it can be knee length. That can actually be great length for you. Something longer can be nice. So the best length probably for them would be knee length right under the knee. So just in that narrow part above the cuff or ankle. Now, if we talk about long dresses, to the ankle. The best thing probably would be something very narrow, maybe with a cut on a side to show your leg, to create some movement and to lighten the effect. So you would not feel that restricted. Another thing would be nice if they would have higher color here. That would balance it a little bit and it will kind of tell us that, yeah, this dress was supposed to be long. It was supposed to be like that that long vertical line. If the dress is flowy, very long, and it has very low neckline here, that can look like this dress was from a bigger woman, from another woman. That is an interesting effect that they have. If they have long dress, best if it's ankle length, again, narrow, preferably here would be also narrow, but they don't have to have waist emphasis. If they're wearing, for example, A-line dress or new look dress, that gives them a silhouette and that is normally not for them because they normally don't have this voluptuous figure, that softness to accentuate. So on them, it looks alien. Like a little girl sometimes is trying a dress or for aunt or for mama, especially if gamins have short haircut, for example, pixie. Gamins normally love it. Many gamins who actually feel their style, they go for that type of haircut. Best thing for them would be narrow skirt in this case so it would not stand out like this we need that tiny small vertical line silhouette for them especially if they go for long flowy dresses like hippie and these dresses for example have huge patterns huge florals or too soft patterns too ornate or too gentle or too watercolor that is so much not for them they look so tired so alien in that they are much sharper and much stronger within their small frame than this type of aesthetic so for them, it always would be better, whether same color or color blocked dress, for example, consists of two colors, like bottom is one color and top is another color or three colors, or they would look best in small, sharp geometry. That can actually look great on them. They look great with stripes, any stripy dress, 
would look cool on them, especially if the stripes are quite small. That would look very classy on them and very classic. So if they are wearing short dress, it's best when it's made with a stiffer fabric, whether it's thick cotton or linen, or sometimes it's double layered dresses, that also will be a great win for them. Especially many gamins, they don't have quite big boobs and they don't always like to wear bra in summer. That is a great thing for them, whether to have chest pockets here. Pockets is always that very interesting and sometimes color blocked element and very sharp element that always looks very fresh on gamins, any contrasted sharp detail. Or again, as I said, they can find a dress that is double layered, that normally smoothens these things out and nobody notices. If we talk about high-waisted dresses, can be nice, actually. Slightly baby doll, slightly childish, can look great, but not bouffant skirt here. So if you're going for high-waisted, check what's below. If it's pleats or if it's something more sharp here and more narrow and kind of going down a little bit more vertical rather than horizontal or diagonal, then it can look quite cool on you, even if it's on the shorter side. If you're going for low waist, normally that looks great because low waisted dresses, first of all, we think about 20s and 20s as a flapper girl, it's very gamin like style. Not too many ruffles on the bottom would be a little bit better, not too bouffant. Small ruffles actually can look cool because still small vertical line is already created by that elongated torso part of the dress. Now, if we talk about top and skirt, same thing as dresses. If the skirt is very bouffant and is creating that eight-shape silhouette for them, that sometimes might look quite alien on them, but as soon as the skirt is quite narrow, especially pleated skirts, that looks great on them. Maybe not super, super long. Better if just above the ankles or around the ankles. That can look quite stunning. Many gamins have quite thin cuffs. So for them, even if the length of the skirt goes up to their cuffs and stops there, it normally doesn't cut their legs and it normally doesn't make their legs look wider. So for them, if the skirt is narrow and sharp looking or just narrow, that can look quite cool. Of course, any kind of tulip skirt or pencil skirt is best for them. If you have oversized top here, for example, you wanna go for relaxed shirt. Not everybody wants that small tops in summer because we're sweating in here like armpits and things like that. We sometimes want lower sleeves here, yeah? So we would have some airflow there. Also great, but in this case, have something narrower the bottom or at least narrower here from waist to your hips that part would better be fitted quite narrow and fit straight on you and sit very well on your butt and then it can go to wider silhouette so if you're going for something relaxed on top best if you tuck it in or this piece would be cropped this is how you can pull off oversized things because for smaller women it's not very easy to pull off oversized things and sometimes we want some oversized things because first of all it's everywhere in the shops so you can't pull that off it's just in this case you have to tuck it in or it has to be short then top part of your pants or jeans or skirt should be narrower then if it goes to your skirt it should be narrower or pleated or something sharp if it goes to your pants or jeans best if they are narrow and skinny that is the best thing for you especially if they're shortened to your ankles it's your saver it can save any silhouette if you're throwing on some bigger shirt bigger cardigan on top something huge oversized that happens sometimes that's fine if you have slim pants shortened pants that can save pretty much any outfit for you. If you still wanna go for wider jeans and for wider pants, trim them to your ankle. I am not tall, for example, and things just make me bulky if they're very long. Lately, wider pants are much more fashionable. So what I do, I just cut some stuff off around my ankle area and it lightens my silhouette very much. Now, if we go back to skirts for a second, also different kinds of diagonal lines will save the situation for you. Anytime you feel like skirt is dragging you down, try to choose something with diagonal lines. There are loads of denim skirts, for example. They're quite stiff, amazing. Choose something narrow, choose something to your knees or even slightly longer you even can go for long denim skirt but choose something with diagonal lines and some cuts that would show your legs that will be amazing on you any diagonal lines when it's vertical they can be horizontal diagonal it's like that 
so that is more horizontal you see every time the diagonal line is vertical so it's just a little bit on the side like that that will create an amazing things for you whether it's your dress configuration or skirt or even top so any asymmetry looks amazing on you just because of that fact the diagonal line will always make you look more delicate and narrow and elongate you. If we talk about pants and jeans, high-waisted would be great on you. Normal-waisted also would be great on you. You know, high-waisted, it just depends. Some gamins actually have quite elongated arms. So for them, maybe high-waisted and very cropped torso can be quite disproportionate. So this you have to decide for yourself, making several pictures of yourself several steps away from the mirror from the chest area this is where normally the proportions are quite even so in this case you might see that if you the length of your arms is quite big and your face looks a bit bigger then it's not for you so just choose regular waist lower waist i don't recommend because normally gamins have quite short legs and it can drag them down if we talk about tops different kinds of cami tops sharp tops different kinds of shirts like that shirts with higher collar like that will look very cute on them shirts and tops with contrasted trim would look amazing on them different kinds of small shop pattern stripes stripes would look amazing it's very classic and very classy for them if you go for mom jeans also can be fine but maybe not too volumized here around the hip area just go for narrower around hips everything oversized looks quite funky on them the best thing to lighten the silhouette if it everything is oversized is rule number one color blocks rule number two cropped things cropped top cropped pants rule number three high neckline high waisted everything is lifted up in this case and rule number four higher heels or some platforms these four elements will lighten your look very much if you go for everything oversized sneakers plus dress yes can be nice if your dress is exactly like i described before and the sneakers are quite delicate looking and more classic looking not sports like a super chunky and wide shoes sandals even belly flats would look amazing on them if you are quite bony and your legs are very thin and there are loads of gamins like that then belly flats would actually look amazing if you keep in mind all the rest that I said about the silhouette so not to over bulk you not to drag you down if there's something that is dragging you down of course belly flats can actually add to that effect but it, if everything else is light and kind of slightly sharp and stiff and narrow then ballet flats can look amazing on you anything classic like Chanel ones oh that is so much gamin you would look very French with that wedge platforms look amazing if narrow it's even better because it will be very elegant on you and very delicate looking if bulky then just it will create more funky effect on you just open your ankles all right that's it I hope that was helpful let me know in the comments guys if you already have some stuff where you have to invest in some things just to have your wardrobe really full and let me know how it goes overall thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye